Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the beginning of the road to top 10 in Oras UU. If you guys didn't know, OU is pretty much on halt just because of uh, the Hoopa Unbound Suspect test. So the ladder that I was laddering on is no longer there, so I figured why not start UU. If you're new to my channel, uh, basically this is a series or part of many series where I climb the uh, Pokemon Showdown ladder and attempt to get to top 10. Top 10 being around 1700. So, in any case, I hope you guys all, you know, enjoy and looking forward to this. We're going to be using a rain offensive team that my boy Brandon Beast made. And, uh, well, actually, I don't know him, but I've used a bunch of his teams, so <laughs> why not? Um, this guy has bulky water on his team, being Blastoise, but thankfully it's not like Suicune or anything because this team definitely has trouble with Suicune. So, I'm going to lead off on my Frost last. Pretty much the plan is get up Hazards and pound through him with Swampert because this Swampert switching does not exist. Um, that Gardevoir could be an issue because of Trace. Definitely could be an issue, but either way, Frostless is just a great lead because uh, what I can do is just get up my spike as he is going to go for knockoff. He can follow that up into an Aqua Jet. Thankfully, knockoff was actually disabled, so what I can do is go out into uh, my Kingdra right here on the Aqua Jet. And uh, I could drop a Draco, but he is more than likely going to go Blissey, so what I actually am going to do is uh, go out to Swampert and Mega Evolve on the Blissey switch. Yep, got him. Nice. So, what we can do right here is actually. Like I said, just Mega Evolve. Um, should we go for Waterfall or... Yeah, I think Waterfall is just the best play overall. So we're going to Mega Evolve, get off that Mega, which is great because next time we come in, we can get up the Rain. And I think Waterfall is just the best play overall just because it hits not only Blissey, but it hits um, Zapdos as well as he is going to go out to Blastoise. Completely fine by me. We get off a bit of chip damage on him and it is Mega Blastoise. So I'm going to go out into... I'm going to go out into my uh, Frostlass right now. That way I can at least Spin Block on the uh, aura sphere right here nice 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 and uh, what I can do is just go for the destiny bond if he decides to attack me goes out to Crawdon though so I don't mind that too too much because um, I could icy win if I wanted to well if he gets up a DD it doesn't matter I'm just gonna get up a spike right here as he goes for the swords dance yeah I don't really that doesn't matter too much because um, this always outspeeds and he's probably gonna be able to pick me off right now with the Aqua Jet. However, Aqua Jet was also disabled. That's even better for me because what I can do now is uh, I could go out to Tornadus, but I could more than likely just go out into my Alakazam. I don't think that's a bad play at all. And I think just firing off a Dazzling Gleam is just the best play right now. It hits Crawdont. I don't have to risk my Focus Ash being broken due to the fact that uh, obviously his Aqua Jet is disabled. Goes out to Gardevoir. Good play, good play. Um, I'm actually going to Thunder Wave this thing as it was Scarf, so thankfully I am able to Thunder Wave that thing. Locked in a Moonblast though, unfortunately I don't have uh, a Fairy Resist right now. Huh. I think what I want to do is actually go into Kabutops just to get up uh, my Stealth Rock right now. Alternatively I could just go right for Waterfall, I don't see a reason not to Waterfall. A uh, Waterfall knocks him out. So yeah, let me actually go for Waterfall right now. He doesn't. His Water Resist is Crawdon, which is at 59. Uh, the Blastoise, which is at 65, and obviously with that into anything other attack will be great for me. So I'll go right for the Waterfall, knock out that Gardevoir, we don't risk any Healing Wish later. Um, I am losing my Extreme Speed Resistances, however, uh, Kabutops is so powerful, I'm pretty sure Blastoise will go down to the Stone Edge, uh, implying I hit, or assuming I hit, which would also be implying that I hit. So I guess we're on the same page right here, as uh, Crowdon is going to come out and... Um, what I am going to do is actually go into my Kingdra on the Aqua Jet. As he goes for knockoff, okay, being a bit aggressive. So that's definitely going to, uh, that definitely caught me off guard. Um, I didn't expect him to do that, so good play on my opponent's part. However, I can go out to Tornadus now and uh, just go for a Hurricane. The reason I went for Tornadus is because I want to be able to get the rain after. Unfortunately, I missed my Hurricane, so um, one play just like losing me <laughs> half my Pokemon. Really unfortunate, but I can go into Swamper now and uh, Waterfall will be able to knock out. It's okay. It's okay. Waterfall will be able to knock out the uh, crowd out right there. And um, we still have a chance to win just because of Pert. Really depends on if this Earthquake knocks him out though. As we do. Alright, so that's great. So we don't have to deal with Blastoise at all. So we still do have a good chance of winning, I think. Uh, we definitely do. Entei has to not burn me if I want to win. Entei has to not burn me. And he knows that has to happen so <sighs> don't burn me please 50 percent chance to win the game doesn't burn me nice so we're able to knock out Entei right there and uh like i said 
It's gonna be close. Um, if his Zapdos doesn't have HP Grass, which I don't think it does, I think we win with Kabutops or Thunder Wave into Psy Shock. So we're looking okay. We're looking okay, boys. Yeah, he went out to uh, Blissey first. So what I can do is go for Rain Dance. Like I said, we still had a chance to win as he goes for Soft Bolt. Now this is Rain Boosted Waterfall. Um, that's gonna do a lot of damage as he goes for Seismic Toss. Doesn't even attempt to, I guess, stall it out or anything. As uh, we are able to go for the second Waterfall, knocking him out. Zapdos is gonna come out, and uh, that was a good play though. Uh, definitely a good play on my opponent's part. As he has HP Ice. Definitely a good play on my opponent's part uh, going for the knockoff for Crawdon. And it paid off because obviously I missed Hurricane after that. So Swampert is able to come through though in that game. And uh, we were able to pick up the victory. So let's go for another game right here. This guy doesn't have any hazard control either. And um, thankfully we have hazards. <laughs> so I'm going to lead off of Frostless again. Pretty much the mandatory lead. Um, for this team, it's a focus sasher, it's a spin blocker, it's a spike user. Uh, I really hope that in Sun and Moon we get more spike ghost users. That would be so cool because I feel like Pokemon like Frostless, like Frostless is unique just because of what it does. It's a spin blocker, it's high speed. Not only is the fact that it has spikes, but also it's high speed has, gives it a lot going for it. 350 speed, nothing to laugh at at all. So, leads off of Blissey. Um, I taunt this thing and it is useless. Like, I taunt this thing and it's completely useless. I don't want him getting up Stealth Rock. I doubt he has Stealth Rock, but I also prevent him from going for... Oh, he actually has it on it. I thought it would be on his uh, Red Steel, but pretty much this Blissey is useless. Yo, this Blissey is completely useless at this point. Um, hey, man. Hey. It can't touch me. Uh, Soft Bolt, Seismic Toss, maybe Stealth Rock, uh, a status move. Pretty much Blissey can't touch me. So, that's another thing I love about Frost. Is the fact that it's Taunt... It's high speed, it gets hazards, it gets hazards, uh, which is crazy, and um, yeah, it's just a mon that can do what a lot of other mons can't, so he goes out to Spiritomb, hmm, he's probably just going to Pursuit Trap me, I'm going to get up another layer of Spike, uh, this Spike is really nice because it puts Registeel in range of Earthquake, has Ominous Win, interesting, why do I lose if this works, I'm going out to Kingdra right now, I'm going to save my Frost just because I can, um, should I? No, let's just go for a spike. I don't know if he has Shadow Sneak now because he, I saw Ominous Win, so now I'm not sure if he has Shadow Sneak. I actually have no idea what's happening right now. But um, we're going to get our third layer of spike. Again, he doesn't have any hazard control on his team. Um, Entei can put in a bit of work if I weaken this. I do have the Dazzling Gleam. He does go for uh, the Sucker Punch right there. What I can do is just go for Destiny Bond. This is how he wants to play it. I'm not sure. Ominous Win, Sucker Punch. So he is a standard set, but he just has Ominous Win, which is pretty heat. Not gonna lie, that's pretty heat. So, we go for Destiny Bone right here, and we'll hope that um, he decides to go for Ominous Win again. That'd be great. Let's see. He does go for that double Ominous Win, so nice. Spiritomb is gone. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. And uh, what I can do now is go out into my Tornadus. Tornadus does have Taunt, so it prevents Blissey from getting up Hazards. I can get up the Rain. Um, and it also prevents Sceptile from coming out, which is the important part. Thinking about Tailwind on this set, though, too, but... What I do want to do is just taunt right here. Prevent the Stealth Rock from going up. And uh, I think I actually want to not go for Rain Dance just yet. Actually, I can. I can afford to go for Rain Dance. I'll be taking one Seismic Toss, though. But I can definitely afford to go for Rain Dance. So what I will do is um, Rain Dance up and then be able to go out to my Kabutops. Uh, Kabutops actually also has a lot of fun versus his team. I think he might be Curse Registeel looking at it, but I can afford to go Kabutops right here. I do have the Damp Rocks, so my rain will be up for eight turns. I can go Kabutops and get up my rocks as well, uh, just threatening his team a bit. I think if I kill Blissey, then Kingdra can have a lot of fun versus him as well, but ends up going out into Registeel. I don't know if he's going to Thunder Wave me or anything like that, but I'm just going to go for the Rain Boosted Waterfall before getting up rocks, just in case he's like a Curse variant that does nothing. <laughs> that did absolutely nothing. How is that Rain Boosted? Uh, I am pretty sure I'm faster, actually, but I'm going to get up my rocks first, just because I want to threaten that Entei. I want it to come in at half. I want that Entei to come in at half. He doesn't have a good water resist. I say that because Sceptile will be knocked out by Waterfall. And if it's not, it'll be knocked out by... Uh, it'll be knocked out by the uh, Aqua Jet after. And he actually does have Cursed Thunder Wave. So I think his only attacking move is Iron Head. If I'm not mistaken. So I could take this an opportunity to go into my uh, Swamper. Yes, it is Iron Head. And what I can do is just Mega Evolve and go right for Earthquake. Acquiring that Swift Swim. So I will be able to outspeed the rest of his team. And uh, with Hazards up... Ooh, his team is not going to appreciate this Swampert at all. Yeah, Blissey's coming in. It's going to go down Earthquake or Waterfall, whatever. Yeah, Swampert about to put in work, yo. Swampert just sweeping. And I really want to use Spikes plus any anything in the lower ladder uh, just because if 
faster game starting off. Obviously, we are on the lower ladder. I think I'm only at 1,200, maybe less than that right now. So, um, really interesting teams. Uh, really interesting sets, though, seeing Thunder Wave and Curse. I like that, though. I like the, uh, the chance to para, and then they don't break through. Ooh. <laughs> Leaving people crying right here, but Sceptile is going to come out. However, Sceptile, if he does have a Citrus Berry, actually, this was a good play because it'll be able to get that Citrus Berry and get that on Burden. He doesn't, though, so I do outspeed Sceptile. I definitely do outspeed Sceptile. It hasn't gotten any item yet, um, and I can just go for a double Earthquake right here. Actually, Waterfall. There's no reason not to go for Waterfall. Waterfall hits everything harder as uh, he does Mega Evolve and Protect. However, he needs a double Protect in order to... Um, outspeed me in the following turn so I'm just gonna go for a double waterfall a second waterfall even though he does four times resist it will be able to knock him out at 9% guys so don't worry don't worry now if he does break through um, if he does end up getting that double protect be unfortunate but uh, what I can do from there is actually sack my Kabutops he doesn't get the double protect though so we are able to knock out the Sceptile nice 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 and Swamper doesn't even need rain to tear through his team at this point um, though I'm pretty sure Entei's gonna come out and if Entei does come out I'd probably go for Sacred Fire just to burn me um, if Entei does come out though I'm going directly into Kabutops Kabutops is already paralyzed so it can't be burnt and it does have the priority Aqua Jet uh, which will be able to knock out Entei, I think, at 50%. It's Life Orb, it's Adamant. So I'm pretty sure Kabutops can finish this guy off at 50%. So he goes Florgus first. Uh, what do I want to do here? Let me see, let me see, let me see. I need to knock out... You know what? I'll just go for Earthquake. It's going to do damage. He has a Citrus Berry. As he goes for Calm Mind, so... Yeah, I was actually, I'm not going to lie, I was debating switching because I didn't want this thing to be weakened to the point where Entei's extreme speed, if it's bandit, can knock me out. So, I can definitely understand why he swapped right there. Is this Healing Wish Blissey? But, I mean, Blissey's going to go down too, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, at this point, he just loses to, um, to Swamper, no matter what happens. Even if he burns me. Yeah, this does 25%, and that does 37. So, Florius dies to Hazards. Entei comes out, and uh, I can just go for Earthquake and knock him out. He doesn't even go for the uh, Sacred Fire to try and burn the potentially try and sweep a Registeel, but all his mines will be uh, knocked out by a burnt Earthquake anyway. And Floris goes down to Hazards, and uh, Registeel is going to come back out, and that is going to go down to the Earthquake, and that will be good game. So some pretty interesting sets right there. Um, Citrus Berry over Leftovers on um, Florius. So look for another battle as we got one. Now we have hazard control. This guy's team is very, very strong. Where are we on the ladder, actually? Show me. So we are now in the 1200s. Nice. Uh, we're going to lead off with uh, Frostlass, as per usual, as he leads off a tentacle. He has two forms of hazard control, excuse me. And uh, what we are going to do is going to taunt this tentacle. That way it can't get, get up any toxic spikes. And uh, then go for a spike right here as he goes for Sludge Bomb. Gets a crit and the poison. Cool, cool. Not really. It's unfortunate. Nothing I could do though. I'm actually going. I don't expect him to scald. I expect him to spam rapid spin right now. As he actually spams sludge bomb. Uh, thankfully, it doesn't work out. As what I can do is now just mega evolve. I needed to mega with my swamper beforehand because I needed to be able to knock out this thing. As he decides that he's going to get away with a toxic spike, but he doesn't get rid of my spike, which means that uh, mammal swine and then will be worn down. Unfortunately, I don't have hazard control on this team. Um, Chandler comes out. Interestingly enough, if he specs. I want to go Tornadus, but at the same time, I don't. Thankfully, this guy's enough Blissey, so Kingdra kind of just plows through his team. Uh, I'll sack Frost last to the Energy Ball as um, hmm. this can put in work as well. I gotta get rid of Chestnut, though. But we'll be able to go out into our Tornadus right now, and uh, we are going to go for the Rain Dance just in case he tries to go for the Fire move right here. Um, either way, going for Rain Dance is great because it means my Hurricanes will hit. As he goes out to Cabal, and this is not a counter, guys. This is definitely not a counter. Uh, I don't know if he wants to Thunder Wave me. If Focus Blast hits, it knocks him out, but Hurricane is 100% accurate in the rain, and it will 2 KO him regardless, so i rather go for this. Oh, my God, look at that damage. As he goes for Close Combat, so, yeah. Completely fine with that. Actually, Cobalion going down is great because that's one of the two Pokemon he has that can take uh, more than two hits from uh, Kabutops. Like, I mean, it will be 2 KO by Waterfall, but Chestnut, for example, wouldn't be. So... Getting up the spike is nice as well. I will be able to go out to Kingdra after. Mamoswine comes out. Uh, I'll risk Kabutops right here. I'll risk Kabutops on the Ice Shard. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, so we tank that Ice Shard, and now um, 
I can definitely get this kill. Uh, what I actually want to do is... He should know he goes down and he does have that chestnut. I'm going to double out into Tornadus predicting the chestnut as he does go chestnut great. So he gets to fire off a 100% accurate hurricane. I like that. Even if he goes for spiky shield, I still have two more. So, And I can always taunt to prevent the defog on Mandibuzz. Nice. I like this. I like this a lot. That did absolutely nothing. Good lord. We're going for another one though because it does have a 30% chance of confusion. And apparently it crits. <laughs> as you can see right there. And uh, let's actually see if we can get the roll to knock him out. Let's see. We do get the roll to knock out Mandibuzz, nice. So also if Mammal Swine decides to come out again, um, I can get up my rain. And then Kingdra just wins. So I like this, I like the way this went down. Uh, Mammal Swine does come out, my priority rain dance does go before his Ice Shard because I am faster, so we get up that rain before we lose, or, or lose that Mon anyway. And I can just go right out to King, just showing it off and uh, go right for the Surf. Definitely that crit on Mandibuzz helped a lot. I would have taunted him and then been able to get a rain dance anyway, but it means that obviously I dealt with that Mon early, um, easier than I would have. So we're able to knock out the Mammal Swan with the Surf, not even using Scald Surf. I can respect that. Definitely can respect that. Chestnut is going to come out. And uh, we can drop a Draco on this Mon and knock him out. It doesn't even Spiky Shield or attempts to go uh, Chandler. I'm not sure what type of Chestnut he was. Maybe he was Belly Drone, which is why he didn't go for Spiky Shield. Uh, Chandler is going to come out. And I'm pretty sure, even if it is minus whatever, I'm pretty sure Surf, because of the Rain Boost and the Life Orb, will be able to knock out Chandler. So that's going to be game nice. Let's look for another one. Another one. We're at 16 minutes, so we're making pretty good time. Uh, we might get one or two more depending on the time. I don't want the, the first episode to be too long. Normally, I would want it to be around 30 minutes, but uh, I don't know if I have the time for that. So this guy has this guy has a Honchkrow, which is so threatening. Uh, he decides to lead off with his Judge Gun. I don't mind if he gets up rocks because he doesn't have any hazard control, and his Aggron very well could be rocks as well as he goes right for Dragon Tail. So I'm glad that I didn't go for anything else. As I, oh my god, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. I could actually drop a Draco on him. Or I could go for Hydro Pump, predicting the aggro. At the same time, I think I'm just going to drop a Draco. As I miss, as he is able to get up his Stealth Rock. Oh, that's really unfortunate. He can't Dragon Tail me out though, so I'll be able to Surf right now. And um, knock out the aggro on as it comes in. I guess I'll take that. Assuming he goes out to aggro on as he decides to go for Sucker Punch. So this is really frustrating because not only does he get up rocks, but this guy doesn't like to switch. So that's why I didn't predict him in the first turn. And um, I miss another Draco. <laughs> oh, come on. We'll go to Frost Ass though and we'll get up a spike. It's okay, Oho. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. I don't blame you. As he goes for Gunk Shot. Ooh, making plays around plays. I see you. I see you. But I can go out into my Swamper right now and I guess just Mega Evolve and go for Earthquake. Um, I think that's the only play I have. I wish I hit that Draco. Because look at this thing just phasing my team. As uh, what I am going to do is actually get up my rocks right here because I want to avoid his Sucker Punch. And uh, I guess I'm just going to go for Aqua Jet from there. Um, even though I will take Rough Skin or Rocky Helmet. Though he could be. Yeah, he is Rough Skin. So uh, at least I'm able to get up my rocks, my hazards. Uh, Alakazam could come in though or even. Sceptile and knock me out, and now I'm more scared of his Haunch Crow. Uh, Sceptile comes out. Hmm. How do I not lose the Haunch Crow? I guess I, if this is Mega Sceptile, then I'm fine. I'm fine. So I'm gonna go for the Stone Edge because I don't want him to get a free sub. I mean, it's not necessarily. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. So I made the best play to prevent him from getting up a sub, and he got up a sub anyway. Unfortunately. For me. Huh. Alright. Best play right now is going for Rain Dance, and then taunting him. That way he can't get up a sub after, and then trying to go for the Swamp Earth Sweep. Uh, this is really unfortunate, the way this game is going. If I hit that Draco, uh, he wouldn't get up Stealth Rock at all. I... And I wouldn't have lost half my team to that thing. I would have been able to knock a Judge Gun. So it's really unfortunate. But at least I can get up my rain right now. And then go for Hurricane. Um, actually, no. Like I said, Taunt is the best play. He's faster. So I have the priority. Um, so Taunt is the best play. That way I can now go out to Kingdra after. And um, break his sub while dying to Life Orb. 
So that's uh, that's the best play right now. So I can thankfully go for Surf, and Surf will be able to break his sub. It already took the Aqua Jet damage. It's rain boosted anyway. So it will be able to break his sub, and we'll be able to go out into our um, Mega Swamp right after, which thankfully Mega Evolved. Go right for Ice Punch and finish him off. We'll see. Swampert might still be able to win. I don't know how many, if I have enough turns. Uh, actually, let me calc one thing. Because if Waterfall knocks out Rain Boosted, I'm, Waterfall is the better play. Mega Sceptile, UU, Sub Attacker, uh, Mega Swampert, UU, Rain Sweeper, Adamant, Waterfall. Yeah, <laughs> four times resisted. No way this is knocking him out. Why did I even think that would knock him out? Earthquake actually has a chance to, but I switch is the best play. That's why I wanted to go for that. But he sacks the Honchkrow though, so I still have a chance. I still definitely have a chance. I definitely have a chance still because of the fact that he sacked Honchko over anything else. Um, goes out into Aggron. Earthquake easily knocks this thing out. Nice. So we still have a chance. Waterfall will also knock it out, but Earthquake will be able to knock out Aggron. Um, and Swampert is still coming through because we have three turns left. So it comes down to like what items he is on Porygon and things like that. It depends on which money he sacks. If he goes Alexam, I don't think he's Sash Alexam if he didn't sack it. So I can go right for Waterfall right here. And uh, after Hazard's uh, Sceptile will go down to Waterfall. So if he decides to double, that's fine. He is Sash Alakazam. Let's see if we get a flinch. As he decides to go for Focus Blast. <laughs> Oversight? Why? I have Alakaz I don't have that enough stuff left. But it's going to come down to... Um, it depends. If he goes Porygon right here, I 100% win. I'm pretty sure I 100% win if he goes Porygon. Because Rain is still up, right? Rain is still up, nice. And I go for Waterfall and knock him out. Even if he swaps back out on the Swamper, uh, I mean, that's a Sceptile, excuse me. Yeah, I win the game. I definitely win because I have Alakazam in the back to finish off the Sceptile. And uh, that will be game. He doesn't recover enough anyway. I'm not going to risk him getting a sub. Just going to go for Ice Punch because Ice Punch prevents a sub no matter what. Ah, Swamper really, really coming through. Really coming through. What if I went for Rain Dance right there? <laughs> nice. I like this. Swampert coming through yet again. And we can just go right for Dazzling Gleam. We live this hit. We had a Focus Sash anyway. And Swampert is able to come back through that game. So, like I said, yo, the same thing as the first game. We were getting hacks and Swampert just came through. This guy has like a Rain Team as well. I like it. I like it a lot. But his team looks more solid. <laughs> It doesn't have a good Alex Zam match. I wish I was actually Energy Ball still on this Alex Zam. Uh, he swapped it between Energy Ball and Thunder Wave. Um, I don't know for Kingdra because Kingdra beats most, if not all, of his team. I could just go right for Hydro Pump. Life Orb Hydro Pump easily knocks out Tornadus. Grass Knot does not knock me out. Let's pr hope we hit as we do. So his Tornadus goes down. Nice, nice, nice. I'll take that. I'll definitely take that. Tornadus being gone is great. Um... Swampert decides to come out. We are just going to drop a Draco on this Swampert. Do as much damage as possible. He will be able to Mega Evolve and maybe get up the rain. However, this is doing 67%. That's damage. As he goes for his rocks right there. And, um... I can't just follow it up with a Hydro Pump to hit Florius, I guess. Hmm. Unfortunate. Unfort indeed. So I'm gonna go for Rain Dance. That way um, he can't pass his wish to Swampert because that will go down to a Rain Boosted Hydro Pump if I do hit next, which I do. Even at minus one, even at minus two, that didn't matter. That's Rain Boosted, so I would have been able to knock out Swampert regardless. And now we have Rain Up, so that crit didn't matter at all. Swampert would have went down to it because I went for the Rain. I was actually very, very, very aggressive on our opponent's part trying to. Uh, do that right there for some reason. But he sacked the two rain abusers, so I'll definitely take that. 100% will take that. And um, Chestnut is like the biggest issue, but he doesn't have a flying resist at all on his team, so I could just spam Hurricane uh, because the rain is up. Actually, I would love if he went Chestnut right now uh, as he goes Florigus, so. What I'm going to do is actually go to my Frostlass on his Wish as he goes right for Moonblast, and we disable it. <laughs> Yo, Curse Body coming through, but we won't be able to get up a Spike right now. Uh, spike is going to really help with the Chestnut. Um, if he's Wish Protect, I guess he's Aromatherapy. We'll see if he has... I doubt he has Psychic. But I can get up the Spike right here, and we are going to indeed taunt him so he can't get up a T-Spike. I don't mind if he Rapid Spins. 
does go right for knockoff though so i could have destiny bond definitely however i want to get off this mega evolution with my swamper um, i want to prevent any potential cheese spike from going on i don't mind if his uh chestnut comes out the important part is getting off the mega evolution that way i get the swift swim next time i come in and rain is up so that's the important part right there um as he is gonna go chestnut good 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 play on my opponent's part that's pretty much his only play right there and that's physically defensive i think i'm not sure but uh going on to tornadoes is my best play because I resist any hit he wants to go for. It goes for the Leech Seed. I don't mind that. I'm going to go for the Rain Dance on this Spiky Shield. And uh, a few plays I can make here. I could go out into my Alakazam. I think I actually want to go out into my Kingdra because I want to drop a Draco and go down the Life Orb. And pretty much anything that comes out should go down. And I expected not Florgus, but I expect the Tentacore to want to come out. So it goes Florgus though. As uh, this is a life orb, modest hydro pump, and that did <laughs> nothing. Absolutely nothing, unfortunately. As I will be able to go out to my Kabutops and get up my rocks on his protect. Yep. So we're able to get up rocks on protect. Our rocks mean that his um, Tentacruel cannot come in on me. Uh, because two waterfalls should be able to deal with Tentacruel. Rain boosted. And if it doesn't, then Stone Edge knocks him out anyway, so... Ah, uh, it doesn't actually knock him out. Wow, two doesn't knock him out. But uh, Stone Edge does knock him out right here. Uh, hoping we connect as we do. So we're able to keep up the hazards for pretty much nothing. He could have went Chestnut at any point he wanted to. And um, Chestnut is going to come out now. What I can do is just go out to Alakazam on the Leech Seed. I need to save my Kabutops because Kabutops can resist the extreme speed. So it won't go down. It could just spam Waterfall. And then my Alakazam, uh, he goes for Drain Punch. So good play on his part. Definitely good play. As um, I am going to go right for Psy Shock right here. He decides to sack his chestnut, surprisingly, as he goes for Leech Seed. Um, so I'll take that because he, that was definitely a misplay on my opponent's part. He didn't realize that I obviously have Magic Guard. So we'll take that because now we just win with Swampert. So we'll definitely take that right there. I'm not sure why he made that play. Um, I, I guess it was just a brain fart or something like that. Like he... That was definitely a pretty big misplay on his part as Florgus is going to come in with the hazards. We do indeed. It looks to be a 2 at KO. However, he's going to protect right here. He should. So I'm actually going to go out to Swampert. If he goes for Wish, that's a good play. But I can go for Ice Punch after that. He does decide to go for uh, Wish. So good play on our opponent's part. However, I'm going to go for Rain Dance because if Florgus switches out, then Alakazam wins anyway. I expect him to protect. I guess I could go school for Waterfall, right? No, Rain this is the better play. Yeah, so he does go out into Chestnut. That's completely fine, though, because now Alakazam wins, and we also have the Rain. Kabutops wins as well. Um, so a few unnecessary steps, I guess, on my part. Um, but we could actually go out to Tornadus. I expect him to Drain Punch, not Leech Seed. He actually goes for Leech Seed for the umpteen time, even though I have Alakazam in the back. So I'm not sure why he did that. But uh, we'll be able to go for the Hurricane right here. We still win. We definitely still win because Florgus does go down to Hurricane. Entei, if it doesn't go down, it'll be close. Uh, he's going to spike his shield right here, though. So I can't really read my opponent, and I might have made a few unnecessary plays right there, but he decides not to spike his shield, which means that he has to go Entei after. So <laughs> I'm not sure why he made that play because what he could have done was spike his shielded, actually get HP back, and then been fine, but I don't know. He decided not to. And now he has to go for Hurric uh, He has to go for Extreme Speed to knock me out. That was weird. What I can do, though, is go for the rain-boosted waterfall. Uh, waterfall into Ice Punch should be able to knock out Chestnut. It also knocks out Entei. So that's why I was saying, like, why did he make these plays? He was fine. <laughs> he could win without doing this. But what I'm going to do is go directly into my Alakazam now. Because I don't want him to spike his shield. Um, I think Ice, Ice Punch does knock him out, but I don't want to be too weak to the point where I lose to Extreme Speed. And if he doubles back into Entei after, then Swampert comes out anyway, so it doesn't matter. It's definitely my best play. And again, he goes for that lead seed, which is why, like, that's why I was like saying, why'd he do this? But what I can do now is just go right for the Psy Shock and knock him out. And then Entei is pretty much forced to go for Extreme Speed in order to finish me off. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, man. Maybe, um, 
Maybe he'll see it and he'll explain. I mean, he'll probably has reason for his place, but I don't. I still don't understand. So maybe he'll see the video and um, he'll explain to me why he made some of his plays. Because I wasn't sure. But uh, in any case, we're gonna be able to knock him out with the Aqua Jet right here after taking the Bandit Extreme Speed, and that is gonna be a good game. So yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed episode one of the Road to Top Ten in the U tier. We're almost in the thirteen hundreds. Uh, feel free to leave a like. I would really appreciate your support. And um, yeah, leave a comment, subscribe, do your thing, and I will see you guys later. Goodbye. Cue the outro. Thank you.